Then uh, we're also going to talk about uh, IML labels. We see, for example, here the sheet of uh, uh, IML labels uh, printed uh, for rigid containers, for thick walled containers, thin walled containers like, for example, these, uh, these buckets. This is not the one that we're going to demonstrate at the event. The one that we're going to show at the demo at the event is going to be this actually, this container printed a transparent IML label that is then used for making this two liter container that uh, will hold actually child toys, children toys. That is one application in the IML. The second application we do in the IML is these, uh, these kind of uh, crease, sorry, yogurt and cheese cream cups. So that is more thin wall plastics printed on a total different film, a more cavitated uh, film. So that is another application that we will demonstrate. Now in the IML we will not again not only print and varnish but we'll also convert the labels into a final piece that you can actually hold and understand and see yourself. IML labels, then we also have heat transfer labels. So decorating these uh, promotional products like for example these pen holders. Pens from themselves can be decorated also with, uh, with heat transfer. So all kind of promotional products that you can think of and that require uh, high quality decoration, short runs, that is a, an, another application. Then in the, uh, the heat transfer industrial market, so then we're talking more about consumer goods and things that we day to day buy. Then we have for example these uh, plastic containers like for baby powder or these uh, plastic containers that are used uh, for, for uh, bucket decoration where we are replacing um, direct offset and direct screen with uh, much higher quality uh, technology and also much more faster turnaround. So again, that you will be able to uh, see that here at the at the event. And then a last application, two last applications that we're going to do is uh, folding carton boxes. Right? You uh, children toys boxes. You may see some examples here. Personalized also, so we will have uh, substrate software suppliers that can demonstrate how they uh, actually created these boxes, how they create the content. Afterwards, we'll print it. We will we'll digitally varnish it. And then we will convert it on uh, finishing equipment there. And then the last and the ninth application is uh, paper cups. I mean, uh, we come across these things also at, at various events. Uh, how do you create them? Well, in this case, we are going to print directly onto these paper cups, showing you how it is done and uh, talking about how to uh, yeah, to create these uh, these aspects also in the in the short runs.